damage you've done to yourself is way beyond anything else that can happen to you from me or any other judge that would be sentencing you in this criminal case. You are now a permanently convicted felon. Your family who loves you and supports you, I only want to use the word forgive because forgiveness isn't even necessary. They're with you so much, they're so tight knit, but you have to live with the fact that you really put them through a ringer. You've embarrassed your valuable friends in high places, the elected public officials, people in the media. You've embarrassed them. You have to live with that. I don't know if those relationships, relationships can be repaired. You've become toxic in your own workplace. Your career uh, future is uncertain at very best. It was really on a rocket ship uh, to success, and now you've, you've turned yourself into riches to rags, and it's so unfortunate. Your very name has become an adverb for lying. And I cannot imagine what could be worse than that. I'm trying to consider who you are as a person, how you got here, how somehow you strayed away from your family values, you let that dark, narcissistic, selfish, and arrogant side come out, and you persisted with it for years on this case. I'm fashioning the following sentence, and here's your sentence. I'm sentencing you to 30 months felony probation, and the probation is going to be to this court. You're going to be allowed to travel wherever you want. You do not have to live in the state of Illinois. You can report by phone. I know that uh, if you're going to try to make a living and do some of the things you do, you may have to go to uh, other uh, places, New York and Los Angeles. You can do those things. You will pay restitution to the city of Chicago in the amount of $120,106. You are fined $25,000, which is the maximum fine, and you will spend the first 150 days of your sentence in the Cook County Jail. And that will start today, right here, right now. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Nasho, and welcome to Coolin' TV. Man, why did the judge have to cook him like that? Bro, he got cooked like a damn pig with an apple in his mouth over a damn fire. Dang, he just got cooked. Bro, the judge said you went from riches to rags, not from rags to riches. He said pretty much his damn family don't love him. Yo, what is going on? Why did the judge has to go in so hard? Which, you know, I understand. He said he became an advert for lying. That's, bro, that's embarrassing. That's not something you gonna, you know, be able to just walk out the courtroom peacefully after that, man. I don't know what's going on with this whole case. I really don't know. I I thought he got sentenced a long time ago. The whole point of this video is, bro, just, just look how bad he got cooked by the judge. Why he go off on him like that? But he kind of deserved it, bro. He put a lot of people, you know, a lot of people through a lot of stress. Think about this whole case, y'all. You know, it happened pretty much for no reason. You got all these people stopping their whole day of work and all this shit just to go to court, just to deal with your lying ass. It's like, man, come on. I, I had shit to do last week, but I got to go to this damn court date because this nigga want to lie about somebody put a noose around his neck. It's like, come on, bro. So I understand where the judge coming from. The judge probably didn't even want to have to deal with this ridiculous case. But man, he got cooked, y'all. Y'all let me know how y'all think about that whole thing in the comment box down below. Remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel, turn them notifications on, and I'm going to catch y'all in that next video. Peace out.